Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're going to talk about iPhone's emergency SOS service. This handy feature for iPhone users allows you to call emergency services in your times of need. With the simple click of a button, you can call 911 and you can also notify your loved ones. We're going to switch screens here and I'm going to show you how iPhone's emergency SOS service works. Give me a few seconds here. We're going to switch screens and I'll show you how it works. All right. So we have a blank screen that is going to be my iPhone here in a few seconds. Uh, let me log into my phone and then um, we can get in. So there we are. So we've got an iPhone here featured, but what you can do if you're in trouble is that you can click five times on the side button um, if you've got an iPhone 6 through 7 and if you've got an iPhone 8 you hit the power on button and the down uh, volume feature so this is an iPhone 6 so let me go ahead and push the power or the side button which is the power button five times but first let me log back in again there we go, we're in. So one, two, three, four, five, and after a few seconds, emergency services pops up. Now, you've got several options. Uh, if um, medical services or EMS shows up and you're incapacitated, they can push this feature on your phone, which I think at this time, most emergency services people are trained to do this. Uh, they can look at your medical ID information to find out what you have listed. So if we slide on medical ID, then it shows you um, and all your medical identification information that you've entered on your iPhone. Now if, let's hit done and let's log back into the phone. Now let's go ahead and hit emergency SOS again. One, two, three, four, five. And after a few seconds, emergency services pops up. Now this is for you. If you're in trouble, uh, you can hit the button to activate emergency services and you will get this screen. Now if you're in trouble, you can slide emergency SOS like I'm about to do and after a few seconds it will call emergency services. So at this point we're going to cancel because we don't want to cancel or call emergency services. So we're back into our phone and so that's how that feature works. So let's get back to our main screen, our emergency screen. You can also power the phone off too, but also with your emergency SOS, you can modify that so that after it calls 911, then it'll notify your emergency contact or contacts, letting them know that you are in trouble. How do you get to that? It's pretty darn simple. Let's go ahead and hit cancel on the iPhone and let's log back in and all right, so once we're into our iPhone, what we need to do is go to settings. Once we're on settings on our iPhone, uh, we can go back to the main screen and let's find emergency SOS. Once you click on emergency SOS, you've got several options. For starters, depending on your iPhone, emergency SOS will tell you how to activate it on your phone. Now on the iPhone 6 and 7, it's the side button like the arrow is pointing below. On the iPhone 8 and 10, it's a combination of buttons, but when you go into settings on your iPhone, it will show you what to activate. Now, several things that you can do. Number one, you can set up automatic call uh, for emergency services. So once you hit that key combination, then emergency services will um, automatically call 911. Now, um, if you want to designate an emergency contact, what you would do is go to edit emergency contacts and health. So now I all iPhones have a health icon. Let me minimize this. And the health icon is the one with the heart and says health. So going back to health, under medical ID, you can go to edit and fill out your personal information. You can put your picture, there's yours truly, my date of birth, which is not true, my father, which is not true, but you get the idea as far as the information that you can put uh, in there. Uh, if you edit, there's all sorts of information, and I love how I click on it rather than tapping on it. 
if you edit, you can, um, it allows you to see all sorts of information on the, on your, in the health ad. You can add emergency contacts, add your weight, your height, your blood type, any allergens, any medications, any medical notes or conditions that you may have. So iPhone is making it a lot easier for you if you happen to run into trouble, um, wherever it be a medical condition or a life-threatening situation. So check out emergency services on your iPhone. It's available on I all iPhones, iPhone 6 on up. And you do need to have iOS 11 on your iOS iPhone device in order to get the emergency services. Now, for those of you that have older iPhones, such as the iPhone 5 or 5S, you do have the medical ID feature in there. So that would be a helpful feature that you could add um, if you get in trouble. So um, check out emergency services and the medical ID on your iPhone. As always, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. would love to hear from you to find out what other tech tips that you would like to hear in and see in future videos. Speaking of videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a ton of videos out there that will help you get the most from the technology that you use in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, and we're all over social media too, so check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, and all of the above. So folks, take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile, and thanks for watching.